Hey, Dan Pittman here for another segment of Wicked Awesome Wednesdays. The next fun question is, how do you handle criticism? Terribly! Oh, I'm just joking. Uh, you know, nobody, nobody likes to, to be criticized. Uh, and a lot of people say, well, you're, you know, you're the president of the company. Look, I have a board. Uh, I, have, uh, you know, I have a new boss now. Uh, we all have bosses. And more importantly, I think a, a lot of us hate to be criticized at home. Uh, you know, in those situations, it's more the personal thing, right? Uh, I think that the thing that I try, uh, capital try, um, to, to do is understand that everybody gets frustrated with everybody. And if it's constructive criticism, take it as such. But more importantly, if it's not, you know, give some, give some grace, give some credence, give some forgiveness to the person right, right, off, the, uh, right off the bat. You know, it, if you're not being critiqued or helped and you're truly just being criticized, I think that old adage of forgiveness kicks in. Um, my, my parents taught me this. Um, if you don't forgive somebody automatically, um, it's like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. It won't work for you to be upset about it. Move on as fast as you can. If it gets too bad, then you try to correct the situation. But I, but I think a lot of times we need to give some grace and if it becomes a pattern, you got to stand up and you got to make sure you have a, a transparent conversation.